Yeah, you'll just have to bought you'll have yeah, to you have to move the uh, seats forward. The other one um, needs needs more gas. All right, these things are sold, 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 sold. My boy Jigs bringing my trailer back. He borrowed. Blew his motor up. Big sad boys. Sad. sad. <laughs> sad. Blew his motor. Ten thousand dollars. But I'm selling these fucking things because uh, you know I thought I was gonna have fun with them, and I do not need another hobby. So off. Uh, Bert the barber. If you guys remember him from episode what episode? Uh, when did you buy this truck? No, episode like twenty. He bought this truck from me. Yes, sir. All right, sold. They gone. Y'all people slept on these things. Yeah. Got a horn? Does a horn work? No, horn doesn't work. It has a horn button, but no horn. It looks doesn't. like a new new horn, right? Yeah, it doesn't doesn't go. Yeah, where is the horn? I don't even know where the horn is. Right there on the front on the tilt. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the horn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the horn. 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 Yeah, he has no time either. He's, okay. He goes. He goes uh, this way. A friend of mine's got a '67 Corvette, big yeah. block, and he came up here and some guy offered him 130 thousand for it. He just paid 90 for it yeah. on August 9th last year. And he goes, ah, it took me too long to find this car. Yeah. The guy goes, will you call me? Here's my number. And oh yeah. He's you put got, this. I guess a whole barn full of cars. Awesome. Yeah. There's a ton of those guys out here with barns full of shit just rotting away. Um, he had a couple four door, like he had a four door fifty seven Bel Air that I wanted nothing to do with. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. Get, the, get work up there. No, it looks good. Yeah. It's a sick car, dude. I want to get a nasty seventy Chevelle next. That's what he's got. Yeah, they're just fucking big body, <laughs> but I don't know. I just have a soft spot for Chevelles. I always got them. Yeah. When I was like eight years old. Yeah. Last year I had like I, I had a few. None not of the right them. One. Yeah, not the right one. I'm gonna just. There's this dude in Sacramento that sells like fully, fully built pro touring ones, like full LS swaps, and they're in the hun like hundreds of thousands. But I'm gonna wait till I can get to that point. I find you just buy it then. Yeah. 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 I know how much money is spent on building something, and how much you can get something fully built for. You usually can get it for cheaper than building. Cool. What do you think, brother? What do you think? What's up, dude? Good. Did you do hot work. rod? Woke up from his nap. Yeah. How was your nap? Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was good. You like going slow or fast? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, well, nice, ha nice haircut, right. dude. I know. You like that? Yeah. He's got the right idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was telling me you have that white panel. Yeah, that was my grandpa's. I'm sure my dad yeah. told you all about it. But yeah, I know we got that. But that's just got a 350 in it. Just a basic, like yeah. 290 horse. But I'm going to do some stuff with that down the road. But I just want something for the kids and the wife. Oh, yeah. This is, this will be sick. That's a good thing. There's a whole bunch of them. How much that one is? Yeah. 
when we first moved in, there was like a cow barn that was pretty much sitting in the backyard between the two rows. Like a huge cow barn. I just yanked it down from the five acres. Yeah, five acres. Nice. Yeah, it was like set up for the cow barn to like the main room. Alright, congrats, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Of course, good deal. We'll help you load it up and happy she's on to the next home. Sure. Thanks for coming, Fight. Thank you, man. <laughs> Saturday morning. Yesterday we sold the Bel Air. Um, I still got the caddy and the ignition decided to break on me today. So the key when it turned. So I had to wiggle my truck out. I've um, got the Allen Jackson t-shirt locked and loaded just in case anyone wants to know what real dope shit looks like. Look at that fucking thing. Had to get it from Hanley's in uh, Folsom. Stupid hard. Uh, going to South San Francisco picking up 57 straight leg pan um original matching numbers motor so pretty stoked i'm um, about to pick up tino and campbell on my way out wait for all these cocksuckers here on fucking monterey road pissing me right off and got a sweetened coffee maybe i'll tell you guys about the story about my coffee ex adventures this weekend been getting uh, screwed all weekend on coffee all right everyone figure i just called tino i told him about my coffee situation today so i figured i would let you guys know what's been going on everyone always asks how much how much coffee a day do i drink and it's typically just one cold brew in the morning and i kind of sip on it for a long time until about one o'clock or something um, and then it's all melted down i just throw it away but it's typically about one large cold brew every day um, yesterday was saturday i sold the bel air and melissa my wife was doing doing hair so i was watching dancy um, for the better half of the day, the first half, and she wasn't napping, usually she does when we take her on a car ride, so I was like, fuck it, I hadn't had coffee yet, um, what was the situation, uh, the situation was I went to go get bagels with Dancy for me, Dancy, and my wife, and then, um, I went next door to Starbucks, and the hot water was not working, so they couldn't, they couldn't serve coffee or something like that, even cold brew, um, so we had to leave i went home i was like fuck it i'm not gonna even get coffee uh, i drove by i drove by the starbucks on whatever fucking on tenant um on the way home and it had like 60 people in it and that place is known to suck ass so i had just like no way i went uh, i just went home with no coffee this is a very stupid pointless story but anyways get home we get our bagels melissa starts doing hair i'm like fuck i need a coffee so i went out i went to uh this little spot in morgan hill coffee guys there was a farmer's market going on there was like 80 people out front i was like no way i'm waiting so i went to like this other little hole in the wall there was some fucking bike sale going on next to the bike store so wasn't getting it there either dancy had started napping at this point so then i went to the drive through starbucks in morgan hill and uh it was a big line but i was like fuck it they gotta have it so i was willing to wait so i sat in the line probably about 10 minutes before I got to making my order I get to make my order I say hey I just need a vente cold brew black and they're like oh we're all out of cold brew I'm like mother fucker I was like alright give me iced coffee with a couple shots so wait in the line got my iced coffee it sucked majorly but I still drink it and uh, that was the end of yesterday's coffee adventures today as you can see I got the trailer behind me we're loaded up to go get a bike in Frisco um, on my way right now to pick up Ryan. <clears throat> I'm 
my wife went to get bagels while I watched my daughter. She went to get bagels and a breakfast burrito for me and coffee. I was like stoked. I was like, I'm gonna have a fucking cold brew. I didn't have to go through any bullshit I went through yesterday. First world problems, by the way. This is just me bitching. But uh, she comes and I'm like, oh, here we go. Great, refreshing first sip of the morning. And the motherfucker is sweetened to the gills. Like 20 pumps of sweetener or something. This shit sucks. Uh, so my good dude Ryan's picking me up one up because he's at Starbucks right now. But that's funny. All right, people. As you hear about my coffee experience, my boy Tina that's behind the camera now hooked it up. Black cold brew from Starbucks. Not a huge fan of Starbucks, but uh, it's convenient and it's black and disgustingly good. Anyways, almost to this bike that we're going to pick up in San Francisco, South San Francisco. Uh, story on this one. A lady called me last week. She said that she had an old pan head, knew what it was, which was cool. Um, it's actually a pan head bottom end with a shovel head top end on it. Uh, a lot of people did that back in the day just because they're probably a little more reliable. Uh, the shovel head top ends but uh, they called me and they wanted us to help them get it running her dad died and left it to her and she's gonna sell it and i said well hey before it runs i'll i'll buy it from you or if you don't want to take my offer i'll help you fix it and then we can help you sell it or or whatever worked best for her she ultimately decided that it was best to have me just buy it not running eliminate the headache for her and she's not going to be any more money spent into it that she doesn't really have. And uh, I can, you know, make my money on it as well. After I get fixed, I'm offering her a good amount of money. So um, she was more than thrilled. It's not like I was over here to rip her off and tell her, you know, it's only worth five grand. Um, I really am giving her a fair amount of money. I think that's a big part in this, which is why people call me all the time. This was just a random phone call. And, uh, capitalize on it if you do business properly which I do uh, we're getting a pretty sweet deal so we'll show you it in about 22 minutes all right we are here South San Francisco weird ass spot but uh, got some cash and some coffee I don't need some cash anyways here we go how long did it carved up man you picked it up it was just had a garage oh, okay the past couple of days. We're going to be in here about a month and a half. Four covers over. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm Maria. Yeah, I spoke with you. Nice, how are you? He'll be here in a minute. Okay, cool. Down the street. No problem. Good old thunder hitter welding on that one. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I wonder what that sounds like. You specialize in the older ones? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. Uh, I do old and new. Nice slash. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the frame, I mean, that's what she said it was. Yeah, because that's what uh, the guy from, uh, what's that tone called? Low Budget Towing? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> he told us about you. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this has all been messed with, which is the problem. It's been raked. Oh, yeah, you can see the angle. <laughs> that's all original. And then the fucking engine is a Delcron. It's not a, it's not a real motor. It's not a real Harley engine. From because the pictures I got were all from this side, yeah. So you couldn't tell it just was like polished cases, really. And like, yeah, the heads and the cylinders are new style. <laughs> I've, been, I've been getting lucky with my coffee lately. That's funny. Let's make sure it kicks over for you. I 
not in a it's not seeds it'll it has compression oh, that's good oh man Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Roger. Good. We're checking it out. I was telling, I was talking to him a little bit about it. I was able to see much in the photos, but now that I'm here, I was able to do. I was able to check it all out. Yeah. The frame looks like it's probably a 57. But I have, I have a 57 myself. Uh -huh. So there's something to tell me that's a straight leg. Normally there's sidecar eyelets here, and, the, and they're, they're, they like go out like this, and they've been chopped off. Uh, on these old bikes for me, I like uh -huh. to buy like original style bikes, uh -huh. um, which this is original looking, but it's not. Uh, someone cut the frame here, and they extended the, the rake of the frame has been extended. So this is all like very undesirable when you see this on a bike. Yeah. Um, and the motor is a complete remake, it's not even an original motor. Like, it's not original Harley. It's called Delcron on the other side. You can see it. Oh. <clears throat> There's a stamp on the side that says Delcron, and Let it's a see. it's a flat. I don't. I wouldn't. I mean, I really don't know much yeah. about that. But and it's a flat. It's like an aftermarket. <laughs> it's aftermarket. Yeah, yeah, it's a flat um, piece of CNC billet. So I can pull it. Okay, sure. Um, but yeah, so look at this. This whole engine block here. The whole engine's aftermarket, but. This is a great way to see it. it says Delcron right here. Um, so this is a complete. So what is Delcron? Is that like another type of motorcycle? Just no, it's an aftermarket company for that. Like a replacement. It's motor. a replacement. Yeah, it's like, it's like a OEM. It's a Harley Davidson remake. But from another company. Yeah. So they're not like associated with Harley. No, they just make Harley style motors. So oh, like, so say if the Harley motor blows up, they make. There's another company called S and S. Like, uh, you can buy, just like for your car, too, you can buy an aftermarket motor. Like a crate motor. Yeah, a crate motor. It will it start? It will start at all? No, but it, it, it does, um, it's not seized. I kicked it, so it does, like, it does circulate, you know? So it's not seized up, so that's good. Don't sell it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let it go for that. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Nothing out here. I'm super happy we brought the trailer. Oh, could you imagine putting it on the truck? We were going to bring just the truck, and that thing does not roll for shit. Anyways, we made a deal. Uh, I honestly don't even want this thing. But... What's up, buddy? You don't look very happy. I wasn't about to leave empty-handed, I can tell you that. Whatever. I don't even have to bust into the big stack. <laughs> There's that. Let's see if I got a little more up in here. <laughs> my polisher calls me Pockets. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> That's my nickname for the metal polisher Mercury. He goes, Pockets, what you need? Like, why you don't call me Pockets, man? That sounds horrible. 1957, 2008. <laughs> ah. We're gonna hit this curb. Pants are falling off my ass. Fuck it. YouTube, Mike Galley, 84 below. Thanks, brother. Yeah, Appreciate you. you. Congrats on your new bike that I've had for, I don't know, 14 hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're playing Elvis tonight. <laughs> yeah. What's it been, 24 hours since I got this thing? I don't know. But one good deal off to Mike for another. He got it for a good deal, too. Sweet. My Tina will be pissed on my shitty videoing skills. Well, your chick's going to make you keep it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's going to love it.
go. And she's in there. All right, guys, thank you for watching the episode. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, get to hostilityinc.com, buy some gear. Um, all this footage and all this uh, day in and day out lifestyle that we live is all out of pocket. So we really rely on you guys to support the company, support the brand. Um, you want to keep seeing cool shit that I'm doing, get on there, buy a shirt, a hat, a beanie, a, a sweatshirt, whatever it is, um, some stickers. Thank you guys very much. See you on the next episode.